Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so the one thing I really want you to take away from my clip today is this simple message. Be you and nobody else but you in every situation and every moment of your life. Now, you know you're thinking, wow, bit in depth for a Thursday afternoon. However, it's not my friend. This has been something which has been troubling me for a little while and it was on one of my topic lists. And yes, I do have a list of different motivational topics which I want to, and topics which I want to kind of bring awareness to. I have a list for my channel which I love to try to work through, but this one has really been worrying me, stressing me for a little while. So I don't myself have children, however I hope to one day have a family of my own, but I do have nieces and nephews who I love and adore and are always in my prayers. And uh, they're from a mixture of ages, so I've got some in their teenage years and then come down a little bit, a uh, set of twins, and then come down a bit, I got a set of twins again, which is at 12. Um, so the higher two are 14, had to think that for a moment, and... 14? Yes, 14. Then my next two down are 12. And then my youngest uh, niece, she is four. And you know what? Strangely enough, um, they have been on my mind a lot. I often, I've just had, uh, back in, well, I say I just have, I'm six months into my 30th year. Scary. <laughs> no, not really. Um, but I often have a moment where I think to myself, um, where, where I am in my career and where I am in my life, what would I tell myself if I was a teenager growing up now? And often, I often go through this in my mind to think, actually, what would I tell my 13-year-old self? Or what would I tell my 15-year-old self? Or 16? Well, you, get the, you get the idea of it. And it was a conversation I actually had uh, with my mum, actually, which spurred me to do this clip this evening. Well, actually, in society, I think... Every time we turn the television on or on our phones or on a computer or what have you, or if you're on social media, there is a level of people, a streamline of people who almost sits at a very high shelf in life, setting a certain standard that you must be a certain way, you must look a certain way, sound a certain way, carry yourself a certain way, and set all these kind of artificial personas. And yet, actually, it's almost taking over, especially young people's minds, to think that actually you can't be successful if you're not this, or you can't be successful if you don't dress a certain way, or sound a certain way, or do a certain thing in life, or achieve a certain thing, or or even, scarily, not achieve a certain thing. This is something which I was trying to have a conversation with my niece, who um, got a telling off at school and her parents weren't too happy with her, and um, I was talking to her, and this was just before Christmas, and actually that Scarily, there are people out there on social media and what have you, almost making that if you don't do well at school, you can still do this. You can still be successful in this. And rightfully so, you can. But I absolutely hate it when we're kind of telling young minds that actually, you know, you don't necessarily need to try anymore. You don't necessarily need to go for that traditional route in life, whether it be aiming to be, do you know what I mean? let's say fire services, police, nurses, doctors, accountants, solicitors, that type of thing. You don't need to aim for that because even if you don't do well or if you don't do this or you don't want to bother, you can still achieve and do this. Now, I'm not saying that that's out there hugely, but I've come across it. And some of the things I've even seen myself, it's almost putting out there like, as an adult, oh, if you don't try, do this and you can achieve this. And I think that it's just scary that actually so much of life now is actually people trying to not just be themselves, not to just own their own natural, organic self, but yet to try to make out that they're this, to try to make out that just changing things about themselves, whether it be their appearance, whether it be whatever, that actually they'll be successful because they're trying to copy somebody else, but yet their own self gets lost. And it's really, really strange. I had an experience. I have to I have to use the experience with my niece because... Um, it was really a strange moment for me thinking that actually she is growing up and she was with her friends and I seen her and strange enough and I, I got really annoyed about it and I said, I said to her parents and I soon got it sorted out that actually she seen me and she was with her friends and I with all of my uh, nieces and nephews I, throughout their life I've had a, a very strong bond Sand, sadly two of them of which I don't see uh, I don't see now but the three who I do and bear in mind, they're all in my prayers and I love them to pieces. Uh, but for one reason or another, which we won't go into. Because, um, of course, families aren't perfect, are they? Let's put it that way. And um, we all have our ups and downs. And different things happen, different things try us in this life. And um, I haven't got children, but I try to guide my nieces and nephews and, um, 
and and there was this one particular moment and she turned away from me and i have a really uh really what accent was that a really strong bond where i've i've helped uh almost mentor you could say we love art and um reading and singing and everything like that you can think of and uh, it's really really great and it's an absolute it's a pleasure it really really is um and with my youngest niece is why i have a really lovely bond and my, and my nephew who i see all the time all the time as well um and anyway, just before Christmas, she looked and she turned away and she moved her collar up around her neck, making out that she didn't see me. I thought, wow, do you know what? I know the true girl there. I know her. I know my niece. I know the type of person she is. She would never do that. But yet it was the influence of the people she was with. I think it was around about that time I put it on my list for this year to talk about it. And I thought to myself, do you know what? What's just happened there is happening amongst adults, is happening amongst children, teenagers, what have you. And it's really scary to think that actually, to feel that you couldn't be your true self. And doesn't that just replicate into adult life as well, in adulthood and older, and of course, whoever you are, that people feel that to be um, included or accepted or appreciated, that they must blend in and they must take that influence and they must absorb that and they change and adapt. And I think whatever you are, whoever you are, whatever you're going through, whatever age you're going through, whatever you identify as, be you and only ever you. You are so incredible. There is only one of you in this world. And, you know, I just find it so frustrating from that aspect that society almost pushes us to accept that that's OK. And that actually, let's say of a certain age, a young woman has to dress a certain way or wear a certain look to be accepted almost. Or for a man, you've got to achieve it something by a certain age you've got to look a certain way you've got to you've got to act a certain way for you to be cool and accepted or one thing or another and rightfully so again equally as what we see with young girls as well and not just through age but through adults as well sometimes even in my workplace I get people who somebody will walk in the room and they act a certain way but as soon as they've left they change again it's like a completely different person I think to myself wow and I think, isn't it just so interesting that actually for us to feel confident and for us to feel like we're doing well, we're achieving, we almost have to follow these patterns. I will be very honest. I have been guilty of that in the past, not recently. And I would want to say that change and I dropped all of that when my health problems started to change. Um, at around about 23, 24, I very quickly realised and um, woke up to life. And actually, do you know what? I'm going to say even way further before that. I have a very, very close relationship with my nan. I'm my mum and my dad. Uh, I looked after my nan. Uh, as a, uh, My nan's like a second mum to me. And um, I was with her her whole battle of Alzheimer's. So I would probably say that actually teenage years that I dropped that with wanting to kind of follow and mirror those influences and um, I think I grew up, which isn't necessarily a good thing, grew up way before my years, is to speak. But I just think that it's scary to think that we think that that's OK. So, do you know, if you're ever in a situation, let's turn this back onto what my clip's all about now. If you're ever in a situation, you're watching this, whether you're a teenager, whether you're an adult, an older adult, or if you're elderly, however you want to call yourself or identify yourself, whoever you are, whatever you are. Do you know what? Be you in every situation. Never let somebody take that away from you. It's like a light, isn't it? You've got your own light. Don't let anybody take that off of you. Don't let anybody change that light because that light is your personal light. It's an incredible one because there's only one of it and that is you. And you've got your own experiences, your own abilities, your own skills, so many amazing qualities that make you up. And so you could say almost this perfect, this perfect, kind of light as to speak let's keep that analogy going don't let anybody change that because that's your light so when you're in a situation such as a job interview or a relationship or whether it's children you're watching uh children grow and you're watching um guiding their experiences like my godchildren for example um and you think to yourself do you know actually i'm gonna Take a moment just to make sure that you are OK. Number one, it's important that we talk to young people all the time and keep that going and that we're actually going to make sure that you are you and that you don't need to worry if you're a little bit different or perhaps 
you may not feel like that you want to be involved in different things or one thing or another. You don't want to follow a certain trend. That's absolutely okay. In fact, that's actually a blessing. And you know what? I just think that just be you, whatever. And whether it be, if it even be, for example, I don't know, perhaps you've got uncles, aunts, still at whatever age, trying to follow that, trying to fit in, trying to follow that influence, that trend. And you know, we live in a society where people at whatever age, even at older, we see stars, don't we? It, older ages in their later years, still trying to follow that trend. You're a certain age, but yet people are dressing like they're in their 20s and one thing or another. Absolutely dress what you want. Be who you want. Don't listen to influences, trends or whatever. Just be you in every situation. And I think the minute we embrace that and we let go of all that stress and all that tension of trying to fit in and follow, then wow, what a release that is. And you know, I think because I will be honest, I haven't had that. I think I lost that from at school and I've always been on the outside of that. But I've watched my friends and I've watched people one by one kind of lose that and now they're their own natural characters and their own organic self. I think the minute that is lost, you then become a whole person. You become you, inevitably you, just as much as what you should have always been because underneath all of that, and following those trends and trying to fit in with those influences and things, you are incredible. And I try to install that when I have conversations with my nieces and, um, and my nephew. And even from my, uh, my niece at four, she's already trying to sort of just, you can, you can tell, almost trying to, to absorb and adapt to different influences. And I just think that society has done that. We've done that. And it's just, I think that's why I've concentrated when you, we speak about young people and you, and you look at young people. And how many of us have walked past the street and you see a gang of lads and they're laughing, joking, talking? And you know that is not their true self. You know that is not their natural self to speak and act like that. And you just think, actually, do you know what? One day you'll realise, I was walking home uh, a couple of days, a uh, couple, couple of weeks back, and um, it was the, the, the high school, secondary school I, um, I'd went to. Uh, and of course, you, you, you know the uniform. So anyway, I was walking home and I seen in front of me, it was two girls and this lad. And, um, and I could just see that he was just trying to make out that he was something he clearly was not. And even I could just pick that up, even with having a hearing problem, walking behind, you could really, really see that. I just think one day, do you know what, you'll realise that actually... It's so much more easier just to be you. It's so much more kinder to yourself, your mental well-being, your physical health, just to be you, just to own you and be you in every situation. Older people are like that, aren't they, as well? Adults. I mean, let's, let's be honest. There are so many adults out there, 40, 50, 60, 70 and beyond, who still don't know who they are in their true self. It takes time. It takes time to break it down, to spend time with yourself, to learn about yourself and actually just appreciate that actually you are amazing. On that note, thank you very much for joining me. It is a topic which we could talk about for so, so long. It's a topic I feel very passionate about, especially amongst young children. Um, growing up with that influence in today's society, that to be successful, you must follow this sort of pattern. It absolutely infuriates me. Um, and let me know if you share that view. Let me know in the comments down below. Or if you think, actually, I don't agree with you. That's perfectly fine. Let's agree to disagree. Let's have that healthy conversation. Always willing to do that. Um, and on that note, take great care. God bless. Thank you very much for being here. And until next time, I will see you soon. Bye for now.